Midwest Performance. We're on a mission to empower women around the world to take action and work hard to make a physical impact in their lives. In this very saturated fitness industry, there's tons of competition, but the opportunities are incredible. We'll cover the most common challenges in the fitness world and invite guests to the show that have learned to overcome them and share their strategies with you. This is the Coffee with MP Show. What kind of advice would you give the Tiffany from 2016 that's sitting at home watching this, scrolling through sure. their Facebook, um, and maybe they've scrolled past our ads or somebody else's ads a couple times and, and they're watching this live. What would you tell that Tiffany of 2016 who's watching this right now? This is your moment to shine. Get off the couch, be humble, mm -hmm. embrace it, lean into the community of people here. We've mm -hmm. all got the same type of journey. We may be in different parts of the journey mm -hmm. and we can be that big wealth of resources mm -hmm. for each other and mm -hmm. it's empowering. And right. we've cried together, we've mm -hmm. bled together, mm -hmm. we've done everything, sweat in the eye together. Mm -hmm. It's just, this is your time. Mm -hmm. I think that that's Make the awesome. Change. Mm -hmm. I think that that's great. Just getting off the couch and just leaning into it. And I really like how you said, "Be humble." Like, know yeah. that when you come in here, it's gonna suck. It's gonna <laughs> suck. Like, you're gonna really have to humble yourself and just yeah. allow yourself to not be very good at this kind of stuff right away because you will be good at it one day. No, I think that's it. I think one of the things, though, that I'll just say, because this is what I work with every single person that I meet with mm -hmm. on no matter what, is like self-awareness is so powerful. Like mm -hmm. You need to know what you do and why you do it. Mm -hmm. And if you can figure that out in any sort of a situation in a pattern kind mm -hmm. of way, like you're golden. Like mm -hmm. you just know how you operate and mm -hmm. how you take on the world. So awesome. that's, for me, that's always the goal is self-awareness. Self I want you to look into the camera and I want you to talk to all of the Mo's out there nine months ago. The Mo's from when you first started, the people who are sitting out there who have these big daunting goals, who really want to lose the weight, but just haven't like taken that step. What would you tell them? What advice would you give them? Honestly, buying a support system. I would not be able to do this on my own. I've done it on my own before. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I will quit and then I'll be like, I, you know, I have no one to answer to. Mm -hmm. um, find that support system, um, find a gym, go for a walk, mm -hmm. um, you know, literally take it day by day, week by week. It's, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, it's hard. But in the end, you're gonna be so happy. Mm -hmm. There's a picture of me and Jamie from like two months ago and people are like, I can't even recognize you anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's crazy. Like just how like things just change, like not fast, but you know, I don't know it's just it's just amazing so just literally just do something small do mm -hmm. something small by go for, going for a walk um you know look into you know local gyms uh, come to mp mm -hmm. definitely come to mp. <laughs> come to mp come to mp try the one free week trial trust me you'll get hooked and then come see me yeah did you think that you would be where you are today no i didn't even think it was possible i had worked out many times on my own and I've never been able to do, you know, what I've done here. Sure. And, you know, just if we're talking weights or even just like some of the crazy exercises or, you know, doing kickboxing with yeah. you, you know, it's just, it, it's pretty amazing. Sure. So what has been the biggest impact to your success other than MP? Oh boy, finding happiness, mm. you know. I like really that, that's deep. Yeah. Dropping those walls down. Yeah and letting things in I like you that. know and I'm working on you know letting you know taking the negativity and just kind of throwing it out mm -hmm. and um, you know that's a that's a challenge every day but it's just it's really has been a you know a big transformation we don't really go deep we stay very surface a lot of times um, and that's, you know, it's the trainers, it's because we set the mood and all that. But, um, you know, don't be afraid. If you had a big victory or something, tell me. I would love to know. We love Right? Like, that. I mean, don't be afraid of that um, at all because that's what it's all about. When you take a minute to just, like, anytime I take a little extra time and just tell someone, like, hey, like, you've come so far. I hope you know that. Or... Um, celebrate a victory with someone and like Moe's box jumps or um, 
when I put the, the weight on her back or something like that or, or I took a picture of Roe to show like her definition. Anytime you take a second to like celebrate something with someone, you know, that's, you never know how that's gonna affect them because I really didn't know that that was gonna be a big thing for Mo. I didn't even think about it in the minute. It was just, I was in the moment and that's what I was gonna do. Now is your time to look into the camera okay. and I want you to talk to not only this, the pre-MP Sabrina's, I want you to talk to those people out there and give them your best piece of life advice. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess what I would, I would share is that, um, you know, just as long as you're giving every single bit of yourself, especially, you know, whether, I guess, when it comes to your fitness journey, that's good enough, right? Mm -hmm. um, you will evolve just as long as you are breaking past that comfort zone as far as um, support goes for surrounding yourself with really strong or like-minded or good people is is the best way to go because you surround yourself with people who are not like that then um, you know it's gonna drag you down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I guess I found a really good sense of community here and um, I, you know we all build each other up and I, I hope that I'm one of those supporting blocks <laughs> I like mm -hmm. being a part of mm -hmm. this this community um, there is a way out of the bat. You do not have to be stuck there. I know that if I want abs, like I know that I'm meant to give up, right? You know I have to right. give up the shitty food. Right. But then if, but if the opportunity cost right. of giving up right. what you want to do for abs is not higher, right. then don't do it. Right. Because at the end of the day, you will lose those abs yes. six weeks down the road no. when you're yeah. sick and tired of giving up something yeah. that you force yourself to give exactly. up. Exactly. What I was going to say, and that's really... I think the big shift is that it's now more natural. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been here for a year. And so you guys are probably like, Chaha, you can eat just fine. Like, you mm -hmm. know exactly, I do know exactly what I should be doing. Right. Um, it's not a secret, but mm -hmm. it's that mind shift of feeling like I'm having to force myself mm -hmm. into something mm -hmm. versus being very natural with mm -hmm. it and comfortable mm -hmm. with it, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. The workouts, yeah, you get stronger and you get used to it and you mm -hmm. build up a routine. Um, but the nutrition is, is you know, a big chunk of it mm -hmm. too. And mm -hmm. eating is a big chunk of it too. Mm -hmm depending on what results you're looking right. to get. Exactly. So. Whatever you want out of this, you're going right. to get. But if you force yourself to completely right. shift to a, a mindset that you're not used to, and right. then you just, you force it right. and like it's shove fun. it, literally <laughs> shove it down your throat, right. you might be able to do it for a little right. while, but it's not sustainable for right. the rest of your life. So yeah. I think with you is like your mindset really shifted, like mm -hmm. you said, to like what I can do in the gym mm -hmm. versus what I can do outside mm -hmm. of the gym. And I think once you figured that out, it was like, you just felt this sense of like, peace right. and calm right. and like okay I'm cool with like right. where I'm at and like the fact that I I know how right. I am and I embrace who I am and how I am and I think also your confidence level has shifted too <laughs> of like I'm, I'm feel good in my skin yeah. no matter what I look like yeah. because I can jump on a tall box yeah. and I can lift heavy weights and I couldn't do that when right. I came in here and that's the stuff right. I appreciate more right. than how skinny I look right. in a pair exactly. of jeans right exactly. and I think that that's a huge shift because I am identical yeah. that's why I I connected so well with you when I you and I had that conversation because <laughs> yep. I'm just like you yeah. in the same exact way and I'm okay and it took me a while took, to figure it that out it does it mm -hmm. takes a while it takes a while to embrace that but when you do it's like man I'm okay with right. who I am and how I am like you you just have to love yourself right. for what and you I think are. it's only helped when I walk in and get it get ready to kind of attack the day or attack mm -hmm. the workout um, I just over I mean I don't know if you've noticed but even over the last two or three weeks I feel like my workouts are better mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm going harder, I'm doing this, and I may have to stop a little mm -hmm. more, but I'm pushing myself mm -hmm. um, more from that mental perspective, yep. where there was a point six months ago, I was like, eh, okay, and I would just kind of chill at mm -hmm. the workout, and it's like, okay, how do I find that way to re-energize mm -hmm. and kind of put that mind shift back, mm -hmm. and it, it really happened, and I love, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm so glad I'm still mm -hmm. sticking it yeah. through, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still with all of these, switching up my routine a little bit, um, that's hard to do, mm -hmm. but when you find that life gets in the way, mm -hmm. um, how do you make these things still a priority? Right. And mm -hmm. if it's 5 a.m. workouts, then you know mm -hmm. what, you come to the 5 a.m., right. and, and you get it done, that's right. and you're just, then you just, then you go to work, and yep. then you mm -hmm. go to class, mm -hmm. and you just, yeah. you just do it. You've got to be willing to make the changes right. if you want to continue to, right. to better your life, right. and I think that that's what's so important. So I kind of want to wrap things yep. up here with you, Shauna. Um, this is the question I always ask all the girls at the end, yeah. and it's, it's, I want you to speak to the Shaunas of the world sure. out there, the pre-MP Shaunas okay. of the world out there, <laughs> the people who are, who were collegiate athletes, mm -hmm. who were injury after, because you're not yeah. the only one, there's no. a lot, injury no. after injury after injury, who are sitting there, like, just trying yeah. to, like, push the button to go. I want you to give them your best piece of advice. Sure 
on how they should react at this point where they are in their life to start their journey. Right. Um, I think if there's anything I could do from an advice perspective, it's don't give up. Don't think injury is the end of anything athletic in your life. Mm -hmm. And I really think it's to also change your mindset of what it means to be an athlete. Mm -hmm. um, just because you may not be competing with a team on a soccer field or right. a basketball court, mm -hmm. Um, I've actually found a new team and a team that I really embrace mm -hmm. and really enjoy and really have the support of and that's everybody here at this gym. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a different way of seeing myself as an yeah. athlete and mm -hmm. what I'm producing and how I'm making myself feel mm -hmm. um, where the injury is not, the, it's not the end. It's mm -hmm. And you can overcome it. I've done it time and time again and to mm -hmm. your point, I'm not the only one. Um, injury happens, but make sure that you just kind of do your best to get mm -hmm. over it. It's mm -hmm. hard. Next question for you is more of from an athlete perspective. How are you able to keep a mindset of abundance and a positive mindset as a pro athlete? And how does that correlate into your training and then in competition? Good question. So this was another tough question. And by the way, Brittany came up with these questions. So <laughs> I really had to like check her a little bit. You did. But um, <laughs> Here, here's the biggest thing, and this isn't just related to me, this is for every, each and every one of you that is watching, is starting out with finding your why. Mm -hmm. Why do you do what you do, right? Because again, when shit gets hard mm -hmm. and you feel like quitting, you have to think about why you started. Mm -hmm. And for me, my why, and I'll share with you, my why is I, I, I want to leave a legacy. Mm -hmm. I want to set up my future family mm -hmm. <laughs> my future family, I want to leave Midwest performance and all this stuff for them. This is my why. And I know when I, and I have those days and I'm going to, I'm going to keeping it real. There was, it, it was, was it a week or two ago? I, I didn't feel like doing anything. I didn't feel like getting out of bed and I cried. I'm like, babe, I'm struggling today. I can't do it. This is hard. I'm tired. I'm sore. I just want to lay in bed. But then again, it's like, let's just pray. Let's just, uh, you know, going back to your why, why are you doing what you're doing? Mm -hmm. and, and for me, again, it's like you have to find your why. When you feel like giving up, when things are getting hard, when you don't feel like coming to the gym, you have to figure out why did you begin in the first place mm -hmm. and, and always go back to that why. Oh, I get a lot of ladies that come into this gym who are lost, who are lost in their fitness journey, who have tried everything, who I've, you know, I've done XYZ gym and I've done, you know, ABC workout and I've had so-and-so personal trainer at so-and-so gym and I just don't ever see the results. I don't ever, you know, I, I'm just, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. I don't know what to do anymore. And when I really sit down and have conversations with these people, I find out that they're showing up for these things, but they're not showing out. And what I mean by that is they're showing up to do the work, but they're not actually putting in the hard work, putting in the effort that needs to be put in in order to really see the results. And that is the biggest gap between people who work out and people who work out and see results, okay? Is the showing up and the showing out. I want you to talk to the Michelle's pre-MP of the world out there and I want you to give them your absolute best piece of advice. If you could tell the Michelle then something that would help her get to her journey, if those people are sitting out there, what would you tell her? That's a tough one. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Um, I think it's just keep trying is my biggest thing mm -hmm. is um you know like i say i've i've gotten into a bad place and it, you know it was for years like mm -hmm. you know the right things to do but you just don't want to do them and mm -hmm. people can tell you and doctors can tell you and whatever and um but just keep trying and you got to you've got to put your best foot forward yeah. always mm -hmm. And something will eventually stick, and I really think that NP is going to stick with me mm -hmm. um, because, again, just it's not only about working out. Mm -hmm. You know, some people, everyone's different. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of the Coffee with NP show. We hope you enjoyed our top 10 tips to starting a fitness journey, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us today. If you like this episode, subscribe to our YouTube channel or find our podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, or wherever your favorite place is to listen to podcasts might be. And if you really liked this episode, please leave a review for us on iTunes. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.